Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be well, I'm going to be showing you how to script and make a kick panel. Um yeah. Guess let's get into it then. First of all, ignore new. No. We're gonna just do on the base plate. I have done this video before. It's been a while since I did it, but whatever. Also, I'm just going to be using the basic, this stuff up here. I'm not going to be using any plugins or plugins or free mm. models. So, yeah. Just drag it like this. Do whatever you want. I'm going to have this size. I'm going to get uh, two text buttons. Like one here. I'm going to make colors and all that in a minute. Actually, first of all, I'm just going to delete that one. Size it the way I want it. It's like here. And then over here. Now, drag the text box into frame. Put it back to where I want it there. Now, <coughs> I'm going to use some colors. Let's do. I think this is a good one. 76. Make sure I'm not doing any dots. K. And then. 74, I think. Eh. I think I did a dot there. And there we go. A bit darker. Now we're going to yeah. do. Uh, corners, UI corners, one there, one for the text box so it looks nice. Strange. Sorry. I'm gonna have a bit darker then. Ah, oh, we're doing 47, okay. So this text box is gonna be called username. Okay. We're going to go down to here and then we're going to put in placeholder text user name user name. We're going to have text scaled, yes. And why not? Let's do a font. Let's have a bold font. I think source sounds bold. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, so there's username. I'm going to duplicate that. Put it here I'm going to do reason is right there okay now <coughs> oh we should also rename this to reason oops reason let's put in a button now so a text button it's still from there drag it like this put it here there we go, and may as well do this. Get the UI corner, duplicate that, put it in there. And we're just going to call this button, or send. Let's do send. Okay, so we have send button. Let's do bold to hit again. And let's do send, or kick, let's say. There we go, kick. Um, yeah. And we don't want that color. White, we don't like white. Thanks. And uh, let's have maybe this color here. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Let's go here. Make the color white. Like so. Kick. Right, so you click that and do all that, whatever. Okay, and now what we're going to do is put a local script in frame. Okay. We're also going to want to go into replicate storage, make a folder, put in that folder a remote event, rename the folder to let's do admin panel. <coughs> and then K 
kick and they re rename the remote event to kick event. Okay, I'm going to zoom in this so that you can see it a lot better. I'm going to do first a local for the um, you No, I don't know why I'm doing that. Parent dot username and local password. No, no, I mean reason equals script dot parent dot reason. And um, we're also going to do the one for send. So send equals script dot parent dot and send. And why send? I don't know, it can be kick if you want it to. But this is what we're going to do here. Oh, we should also do a uh, local remote equals game dot replicate storage uh, dot admin oh admin panel dot kick event <coughs> and then uh, yeah send dot mouse button one click colon connect function remote uh, well actually if username dot text or reason dot text equals then um, let's actually also do a wee warning text to see Enter a username or reason. Make sure you've entered in the username and reason before clicking kick, I guess. Uh, text scale sure we're going to have the red, color red remove the background as well well actually should I remove the background mm, let's see what it looks like with the background but we're also going to have a different thing in that make sure you've entered in the username and kick reason uh, warning. Okay, let's, uh, we can close the warning now. Or turn the visible off. <coughs> uh, lo local warning. Full script dot parent dot warning. Um, warning dot uh, visible equals true. Wait, maybe a bit. One second warning. Warning. If I can spell warning, and that visible equals false. Now we're going to do, of course, go over here. Else, if it is filled in or whatever, remote. E yes, remote. Colon fire server uh, username dot text and reason dot text okay uh, let's make go over here now we're going to oh, we're going to put a script in here we're going to call this admin panel I guess local kick well, actually, remotes equals game dot replicate stores dot admin panel local kick uh, event remotes not require remotes dot kick event um, kick event on server event colon connect function player um username user and 
for a reason. Also, hackers will not, or exploiters, should I say, will not be able to kick people if you do it the way I'm doing it right now. Well, if you had, ah, uh, just whatever. First of all, we're going to have a local white list equals this. And I'm just going to do cameo and all. And you can have Tom, or you can have Wendy. But I'm just going to have this one, and if whitelist, mm, uh, go on, get children. How oh, that? Is it whitelist? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm bad at remembering. Oh wait, no, it's uh, for IV in for IV in pairs uh, whitelist colon get get children do uh, if v dot if player dot a uh, Name equals v dot name v. Then, um, game dot players uh, we're going to find player no user dot. I think that should work. <laughs> I'm not. Re I don't remember. <laughs> I haven't done a, this in a while, but should work. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna do nothing. Kick. Make sure you've entered in a username and reason before clicky. You can whatever. Um. We're gonna do KME10 reason. For being cool, I guess. Kick. Oh, oof. Um. Okay. Yeah. Username dot text or reason dot text. Is that not it? We would. Uh, I'll just I'll just uh, remove this. We don't need this then. Um, I can't be bothered making it work. I'll just delete the warning. Don't need a warning to be honest. Okay, there we go. Warning is not a valid member. What? Oh yeah, I forgot. Need to remove that. One second. I'm just making sure this is fine. Username Kemi10. Cool. Kick. Yeah. Okay. Fourteen minutes, makers. Okay, whatever. Um. Let's just do a print V. Might as well print I as well. See what shows up. <coughs> K. 
que mi bueno de, 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 de. y ok eh, I'm pretty sure the last time it worked waitlist colon get children maybe I should have Do 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 do. <laughs> Get everybody up. Do 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 do. Okay, no do do do. Is any more done? Ah, uh, that's. T. Even t t. A t t t t t. A t t t t t. Well, there's a much simpler way. We could have just done this. But whatever. There you go. Done sort. Give me one oh. Reason. Ah uh, reason. Reason. Ish. There you go, a reason. Leave. Okay, so Basically what's happening is here, when you click the click button, it's going to send it to the server thingy, this thing, event, this is going to get the event, if um, you're an admin, or if you have your username here, whatever, uh, it'll kick the player that you want to kick, so no exploiters can kick random people for nothing etc and if you want to add more people just do or player dot name echoes your username your username here or or friend username I haven't got friends so <laughs> Something like that. Um, okay, done. Dusted. Uh, I'll have this kit in the description so you can use it if you want. And yeah. I'll just ungroup in rip rip located store. Ungroup and starter GUI and then uh, ungroup and server storage. No, ungroup and server script service. There you go. On group. Uh, something. And. And sub. Pause. Thank you. I made. By Kirby, but oh, www.yotub.com for safe as Kirby or Plays channel. There we go. Okay, I'm end off here. It'll be in the description. Yada yada yada. And see you next one. Goodbye.